Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The US supplied M1A1 Abrams tanks, once celebrated for their formidable capabilities, are now under scrutiny as Ukrainian soldiers reveal significant weaknesses in these vehicles. Despite the high hopes and prolonged campaign by Ukrainian officials, which culminated in the US sending 31 Abrams tanks to Ukraine in January 2023, these tanks have faced serious challenges on the front lines. The arrival of the Abrams tanks was seen as a critical boost for Kyiv's resistance against Russian forces. By October 2023, all 31 tanks had reached Ukraine, each costing around $10 million. These tanks were anticipated to play a pivotal role in breaking through Russian defensive lines. However, their performance has not met expectations, with significant issues coming to light once they were deployed in combat. Ukrainian tank crews, who trained in Germany, have voiced their concerns about the Abrams tank's performance in interviews with CNN. They criticized the armor's inadequacy against modern weaponry. The tank's armor is not sufficient for this moment, stated a crew member known as Joker. He further explained that the tanks are highly vulnerable to drone attacks, a prevalent threat in modern warfare. Another soldier, Dnipro, emphasized the tank's status as a primary target on the battlefield. Without defense, the crew doesn't survive on the battlefield, he noted, underscoring the high risk faced by soldiers operating these tanks. The Abrams tanks have encountered various technical problems, further complicating their use in combat. During a visit by CNN, one tank was found immobilized due to an engine issue, despite its recent deployment. Crews also reported that weather conditions, such as rain or fog, can cause condensation, potentially damaging the electronics of the vehicles. Ammunition problems have also surfaced, with the current supplies being unsuitable for the combat needs. What we have is more suited for direct tank-to-tank -tank fights, which happens very rarely, Joker explained. More often, we work like artillery. We had a case where we fired 17 rounds into a house, and it was still standing. A critical factor hampering the effectiveness of the Abrams tanks is the lack of essential air support. Modern armored warfare, as envisioned by NATO, heavily relies on air power and artillery to prepare the battlefield. However, the Ukrainian battlefield conditions differ significantly, with limited aviation and artillery support. We have only tanks. And that's the problem, Joker noted, highlighting the stark difference between NATO strategies and the realities faced by Ukrainian forces. Despite these challenges, Ukrainian crews have attempted to adapt. Photos from Ukraine's 47th Mechanized Brigade show Abrams tanks with added anti-FPV screens and contact, 1 ERA bricks. However, these modifications underscore the tank's vulnerabilities and the necessity of makeshift solutions in the absence of adequate support. The deployment of Abrams tanks in Ukraine has revealed that these vehicles, while advanced, are not invincible. The tanks have become prime targets for Russian forces, and their effectiveness is diminished without comprehensive support systems. The small number of tanks, 31 in total, also limits their impact on the battlefield. This situation raises questions about the strategic value and relevance of sending such a limited number of tanks, which may be becoming outdated in the context of modern drone warfare. The experience of Ukrainian forces with the Abrams tanks highlights the complexities and challenges of integrating advanced military technology into active combat scenarios. While the tanks possess significant capabilities, their performance in Ukraine underscores the importance of comprehensive support and the evolving nature of modern warfare. As Ukraine continues to defend against Russian aggression, it is clear that a multifaceted approach, including increased air support and artillery, is essential for maximizing the effectiveness of armored vehicles like the Abrams tanks. That's all for now. See you later.